Okay, hi and welcome to Shindu.org. Uh, I've done a cycling slash Excel tip version in US and I've done one in India. So it's natural that I do one in uh, New Zealand as well. Um, as you can probably guess, I am pretty much in the middle of nowhere in Wellington. Um, There is a beautiful uh, mountain track that, that goes from uh, pretty close to where I live uh, and it goes all the way to uh, Makara Beach. So I am, I am almost near the Makara Beach, uh, maybe an, another couple of kilometers and I'll be there. But I'm not going to the beach today, I'll just turn back from here. Anyhow, I'm not here to tell you where I'm riding today. Uh, I'm just here to talk a little bit about Excel so you have uh, you can enjoy the beautiful surroundings of uh, New Zealand. Maybe hear some bird song, including a rooster uh, uh, sound in the background. And, uh, and, and there is a small creek flowing underneath, so you might hear that. And, uh, and, and let's talk Excel. So what I want to talk about today is pivot tables. I know these are uh, probably done to death in, in most of the blog posts and articles that you see on chandu.org and many other websites uh, like contextures and uh, etc. But uh, it, it is surprising that even after all of this amount of information that is put out there, many people still shy away from pivot tables. They tend to stick to uh, good old formulas and uh, maybe they will eventually do tables, but that's about it. So I'm here to kind of shake you and and, uh, uh, and 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 bring you to your senses in case you have been a pivot table virgin all this long. Uh, don't be afraid to use pivot tables. They are uh, they are very good. They they offer you tremendous amount of computational power, uh, and they they are very good when you have large data sets or. If you are using 2013 or above version of Excel, even when your data is in multiple places, like we have um, student data in one place and classroom data in one place and teacher data in another place, and you want to mash all of this together to come up with some sort of a report of how overloaded classrooms are or how many uh, student each, uh, how many students each teacher is helping or whatever, you can use pivot tables to come up with these kind of calculations very quickly, very easy. Imagine doing the same with formulas. Of course, they can be done with formulas, but the trouble with formula approach is that the formula approach tends to involve very long-winded complex formulas and they may not be scalable uh, should you have 10,000 more rows of data or half a million rows of data, the formula approach will become extremely slow and uh, you will end up looking for lots of uh, alternatives to speed these things up. Whereas pivot tables work very good now the only downside with pivot tables is that if your original data changes you need to refresh the pivot tables but again uh, from my observation and working in, with business data and teaching uh, people how to use excel and analytics i've seen time and again that in, in business world your data is not going to change that often whenever the data changes you are going to get a refresh back into excel anyway because um, most of the serious business data never lies in Excel, it lies outside Excel in a database. So you have to bring the data into Excel frequently anyway. So you could tie up your pivot tables in such a way that whenever you refresh your source data, your pivot tables refresh. So there is really no additional work for you to do. Now this is a cycling video, so naturally I'm not gonna show you Excel and, and talk about it. Instead I'm just gonna leave you some resources and links. Check out the description of this video where you can find a ton of useful resources about pivot tables right from a beginner level tutorial all the way up to advanced stuff check that out and i, I highly encourage you to uh, you know play with pivot tables i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you enjoyed the quiet and really beautiful surroundings of new zealand i'm gonna just do a very quick tour uh, so yeah, that's my cycle that you can see there and um, and that's 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 a creek and and those are all the hills I usually ride uh, on those hills and that's the route home I, I'll be going back now so thank you so much um, you know, for for watching <laughs> I hope I can fit myself in this video frame now uh, and and talk to you soon bye bye